What is your history of living, working, playing, and volunteering in the city of Springfield? My name is Ellen Morehouse. I'm running for the Ward 5 City Council seat in Springfield, Mass. And I have a long history of being in Springfield. I love this city. I was born and raised here. My parents still live in Ward 7. I bought my own first home in Ward 5. And so I'm no stranger to being a homeowner and being invested in the city. Also, my first job out of college was actually working for the City of Springfield Office of Housing. So I have a deep municipal background with regards to housing issues. In addition, I've volunteered and been a Board of Directors member for the Young Professional Society of Greater Springfield, and I'm a current member of the Springfield Women's Commission. And I also love to volunteer in my community. I'm a lifelong Girl Scout, and most recently have been really active on my lake where I live, Watershops Ponds, also known as Lake Massasoya, that the city recently drained for a revitalization project of the dam. And we got together a couple groups of neighbors over the course of the last couple of years to do community cleanups and otherwise advocate for the body of the lake. In your opinion, what is the most pressing issue in the city of Springfield? And if elected, how would you address it? I think our most pressing issue is planning for the future. So the city council controls really two things, the budget and land use. And I think we're actually in a really strong position as a city. We've just passed an $816 million budget, we've got $128 million in ARPA funds, and having recently just completed my MBA, I'm no stranger to budgets. So I'd want to know what we're spending that money on, why, where, and how. And I really look forward to really unpacking the budget to figure out what we're spending it on and what we can better invest in. I know a lot of the residents I've been speaking to have issues with really hyper-local things in their backyard, speeding, trash, and streetlights. And so I'd like to see a return to focusing some of that money back into the neighborhoods and, and really attacking those hyper-local issues. In addition, I think it's a little strange that Springfield is actually one of the only municipalities in the nearby area to not have a dog park. And so I would actually work to tackle, uh, to find a safe place for folks to bring their pets. Um, so while they may seem like small issues here and there, overall I think it's important for a ward counselor to take a hard look at what our neighborhoods look like, how we're best supporting them, and if we're really listening to the concerns and safeties of residents. If elected, how would you collaborate with others in City Hall to make Springfield a better place? I think collaboration is the stuff of growth. We can't do anything without each other. And especially in our city, I think it's really important to connect not only residents to City Hall, but the other way around. And so to make sure that City Hall is listening to the concerns of neighbors, that we hear them, and that we're actually taking the steps that are necessary to bring them ultimately a good quality of life here in the city of Springfield. We need to make sure we're leveraging our state relationships. You know, Boston can't forget about us. And there's a lot coming down the pike in the next three, five, 10 years with East-West Rail, housing initiatives and federal funds um, that can really make the game changer for our city. So I wanna make sure that all of our collaborations, be they government, nonprofit, for-profit entities, we need our businesses as well, um, feel like they have the, the space to thrive in the city of Springfield and that City Hall hears their concerns and is addressing them in a timely manner.